In this video, we will be seeing about the dynamics of motor load system. This is the motor load system. The motor always rotates and drives the load. The load can undergo rotational motion like this or it can undergo a translational motion that is moving along a line. The best example is the moving of a vehicle on a road. Let us consider the rotational motion of the load. So the motor drives the load through shaft. Normally a shaft will be connected or any other transmission system will be there. Here you have to take the inertia of both this system. Okay. The inertia will be there which will be represented by the letter J. And this omega m is the velocity of the motor shaft. Now let us derive the fundamental torque equation for this motor load system. Let us derive the fundamental torque equation. So here T is the motor torque and TL is the load torque and J is the moment of inertia of the system. So here apart this motor torque will supply the load torque plus it has to supply the inertia torque. So that is given by D of J omega M divided by DT. So here the motor torque sh should supply the load torque plus this component due to inertia. So T is equal to TL plus this component where here I can split this one into J into D omega M into DT plus omega M into DJ by DT. Here in most of the systems the inertia will be constant in most of the drives. Inertia will be constant. So in such cases we can make this DJ by DT equal to 0 because J is constant differentiation of a constant is a 0. So this term becomes 0. So T equal to TL plus J into D omega M by DT. This term is called the dynamic torque. That is it will be present only during transient conditions. So let us see the steady state condition. So at steady state means you have attained some constant speed. So omega m is constant. So differentiation of uh, d omega m by dt will be equal to 0. So this term becomes 0. So t equal to tl. It means that motor torque is equal to load torque under steady state condition. So this is the fundamental torque equation. Under transient condition you will have a dynamic torque. Under steady state condition that dynamic torque becomes 0. So T equal to TL. So T is equal to this is the fundamental torque. Now we have three conditions. When this T is greater than TL this component will be positive and it leads to acceleration. Acceleration you know it keeps on increasing, speed keeps on increasing and when T is less than TL this component D omega M by DT will become negative. It will change the sign during deceleration and when both are equal this dynamic torque will be equal to zero. That is the steady state condition. So what happens during acceleration? The energy associated with this dynamic torque will be stored in the form of kinetic energy. What is kinetic energy? It is the energy in motion. So kinetic energy is given by half into J omega m square. During deceleration, this will change its sign. So this dynamic torque will help the motor torque by extracting energy from the stored kinetic energy. So from this side it has changed its sign. So I have written as T plus J here. So that is equal to load torque. 
so in this channel already i have covered 55 topics in power electronics subject and some of the topics in basic electrical engineering if you need any other topic you can just specify in the comment section or you can write to read electric vehicle at gmail.com and the points to remember here are the fundamental torque equation is given by t equal to tl plus j into d omega m by dt and when t is greater than tl acceleration occurs and when t is less than tl deceleration occurs and when t equal to tl that is the steady state condition if you like the video do subscribe to read electric vehicle channel and these are the references thank you